he made everybody laugh and smile and um, he was a big part of my life and um, you know he's your dad right he had a passion for fishing taking his boat out for the catch of the day originally from the UK John Hartland and the family moved out here when Louise was almost two they made Victoria their home Louise Hartland says he was a very important part of her life someone that you look up to and you uh, is there for you for every kind of important milestone. But in 2009, when she found out he was sick, she took the next flight out to Victoria. Her dad had been diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. It was a huge shock. Uh, I was living in Vancouver at the time. The doctors tried to remove as much of the tumor as possible, even taking out a big part of the colon. He slowly over the next um, two years started, his health started declining and then in uh, October of this past year, you know, the pain was really bad and he could barely walk anymore. And to manage that pain, he was put on a bunch of drugs. In the latter part of his battle with cancer, he was admitted here at the new patient care center at the Royal Jubilee in Victoria. Amazing. Yeah, it, um, you know, it's bright, it's welcoming, it's, it's like a home away from home. This is the oncology ward at the new hospital. It's state of the art. Patients have privacy. There's even a sunroom. The funding that we're being given today is going to go directly to the eighth floor. The Victoria Hospital's foundation is looking to raise $25 million for new beds and equipment. And with more donations coming in, they're almost halfway there. 2012 feels like a very good year in a lot of ways. And this, there's nothing that's worth fighting for more than this lovely hospital. And no one knows that more than the people who've had to spend time here. It made all the difference in the world. I mean, it, it was so much more comfortable. And at one point, my dad actually said, I don't want to go home. This is the best hotel I've ever been in. After spending time at Bouchard Gardens with the family, on December 23rd, John made a turn for the worst. He passed away 12 hours later. I feel him with me every day. In Victoria, I'm Shita Singh for The Daily.